Hello there. Welcome back to Ferris Farming Organic. Today, we're going to be running the, the chisel plow and hopefully we finish up all the fall tillage. So it is currently November 11th and we are approaching the finish line for fall tillage, at least around the Emmicksburg West Bend area. They got a little bit more left to the Open Lake Park and the Terrell area, but uh, as far as Emmicksburg goes, we're getting close. We finished up our moldboard plowing yesterday afternoon and we have been running a ripper 24 7 down here um, for the past week or so a little bit more than a week and then we also hooked up this 60 foot chisel plow uh, we, that we used in beans and we started using it in corn too you can see kind of this field was chisel plowed um, so yeah that's what we're up to and that's what I'm doing today so enjoy the vid We just got to the field that we're going to go on and this field already has a little bit chisel plowed. It's about a 500 acre field. There's, It's a pretty big field. But uh, Max did a little bit yesterday. They just spread like a solid half of this field last night of hog, on, with hog manure and they had the coulters down on them so you can see it's pretty uh there's a pretty pretty big difference of where they just spread and where they haven't yet and what was obviously disc so uh but we're gonna we got like 240 acres left on this field but i think we should be able to get it done relatively quick because uh i would compare the acres per hour i think to the field cultivator in the spring and you can go about just as fast and it's also 60 feet it's a 60 foot just a plow so we should be able to get a lot done and after this field we got two little two little ones down by the river bottom that we could knock out pretty quick or we're going to knock out pretty quick and then hopefully we uh then we'll be done chisel plowing and we have a couple more we should finish up ripping today also so we should be all done down here around the emmicksburg west bend area uh, the Lake Park guys have quite a bit left. Um, me personally, I think they should just get it done faster. But so, Mike or Derek, if you're watching this, just get it done quicker. Would be nice. Alrighty, quick little update. Now that we're going across the field, uh, we're getting about 47 up to 50 acres per hour, and we're going in tenth gear, wide open, getting about six and a half, seven sometimes. So it definitely feels good getting that much done per hour after being in the plow for however many weeks in a row, getting 10, 10, 12, the bigger plows and around nine to eight with the uh, 10 bottom. So this is pretty nice. This 60 foot chisel plow is, I mean, it's a massive piece of equipment. You can get a lot done. Um, really fun to run. It's my first time running it actually, but it is a, 
It looks more like a field cultivator, but it is a chisel plow. I'll hop out here, it's not too windy, so I'll probably hop out in a round or two when I get done with this field and kind of show you guys a little bit on it. But uh, so far, so good. Hopefully we can get this field knocked down uh, maybe an hour or so. We got around 80 acres done in about two hours. And I had to do a little bit of messing around on the, the end rows and along the creek. But uh, going good. Alrighty, we're gonna get out here. Got a, whew, got one of these chisel things bent up. I think I hit a rock last pass. Gotta climb over that. It's gonna be pretty windy, so bear with me. It might be kind of choppy, but uh, this is what we're working with here. So I think it's just missing the top bolt is why it pivoted off like that. There's one bolt still holding it in there but it can just twist however it wants. It'll just, yeah. I think that may, I'll clean it off quick and show you guys, but uh, yeah. All right, got her all fixed up. Put a new bolt in the bottom there, two new washers on it, on the top and bottom, and it is good to go. But it is very cold, so I'm gonna get in the tractor. It's about 20 degrees. One second, I'll get up here about 20 degrees I think and the wind is very cold so it's a good day to be in the tractor I'm gonna turn my heated seat on maybe get a back massage we're gonna keep on going well everybody that'll do it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it really fun running that 60 foot chisel plow I mean it's built like a field cultivator but it's a chisel plow it's a very impressive piece of equipment I think. I think next year we're going to try to do a lot more uh, chisel plowing. I think it doesn't have some of the benefits that plowing and disc ripping have, but uh, it's about five times as fast. And uh, I think we'll still plow and disc rip quite a bit. Quite a bit of our land depends what it's all going to. If corn's going to beans and just stuff like that, we'll figure out what we want. But uh, yeah that chisel plowing is all done disc ripping is not quite done I believe up in Lake Park it is November 14th I'm just gonna be taking the, the mock till home here and yes it did snow stupid but uh we're gonna be done in the field here pretty soon with everything we're done down here in West Bend well um, I think we have like a 60 acre field the quick I'll stop and till up but otherwise we're done down here and then Lake Park should be done I think today or tomorrow but uh, by the time this video posts everything will be done so thank you guys for watching all the videos we put out during the fall fall season um, and uh, I hope we can get some more out during the winter I'll probably do a lot of equipment equipment tours like go in the shed and pick a tractor and talk about that one for a day what we use it for and all that good stuff and a couple more things before I let you guys go. If you're not following the Instagram, go do it. Uh, the link will be in the description of this video along with all the other videos. And uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you're new to the channel and you like the videos, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. That way when we do post, you'll get a notification on your phone. And with all that being said, we'll catch you in the next one.